Hello everyone, welcome to Hacker World. We are going to going to make the world's simplest electric motor. All we need is a battery, a piece of wire, and a piece of magnet. This magnet is also conductive, so we can connect wires to it. Now, all you need to do is scrape the ends of this wire and fold it in the middle. When you fold it, you're also going to make it into to look like a rectangle. And we have an already prepared um, wire here both ends sc scraped and the middle of the wire is also scraped so to, to make your motor is it's as simple as putting your, your your battery on the magnet and put putting the wire on top of it so the center of the wire goes to the middle of the battery you can notice that in the middle of the battery we have tapped a little uh, maybe half an inch half a millimeter into it so that the center of the wire can rest on it and you can you have your electric motor it's moving at a, a higher speed we can control the speed by connecting only one end of the wire to the magnet and how we do that is simple we'll put it this way and then we have reduced the speed by half so we can see the direction the the motor is moving right now you see the motor the motor is moving in anti-clockwise direction now if you want to make it to go in the opposite direction which will be clockwise direction you just have to flip the polarity of the magnet so if i flip the magnet upside down and i connect my wire back i'm going to have this motor move in a clockwise direction now the motor is moving in a clockwise direction now um this this video you can find on youtube some people already made a video on youtube so we are not making the video the first time however the reason we're making making this video is to explain to you how it works on youtube it was called unexplained phenomenon but here we want to demystify this phenomenon and what happens is you know every magnet has a north pole and a south pole and there is a magnetic field that originates from the north pole and terminates at the south pole likewise when an electric electric current flows through a wire it creates a magnetic field much like what you have on the ma piece of bar magnet now you have also a north pole and a south pole so um if this is our north so the magnetism originates from the, the north and it's going to terminate at the south just like it did with a with a piece of bar magnet now there are a few things to know opposite poles like like poles we we repel on like poles we attract by that we mean north and south we attract but north will repel north and south will repel south so here we have a piece of magnet sitting at the base of the battery so the field created by this goes through the battery so this is the piece of magnet we have highlighted by this red marker and we have the piece of ba of battery on it so this field we extend the original field from the battery will extend through the battery through the original field from the magnet will extend through the battery and form around the battery now when you put the wire on the battery the, the magnetic field from the battery will also from the wires will also form by the magnetic fields that were originally from the bar magnet now if they happen to be same fields formed around opposite sides of the battery the wires will tend to be attracted and there will be a spinning force kind of centrifugal force trying to pull the wires towards the center of the field now if it happens to be opposite direction then they will try to be at attracted if it happens to be in the same direction then there will be a repulsion and that's why you see this movement all around this wire you have magnetic field and from the, at the base of the battery you have another magnetic field so it's either they have similar fields in that case they will repel or they have opposite fields in that case they will attract i'll demonstrate this further to you by using a smaller magnet okay to explain this further to you i have a piece of magnet on the table and i have a piece of wire when i bring the, the wire close to the magnet there's no action nothing happens to the wire it's neither attracted nor repelled now, like I said, there's no action when I move the wire around the magnet. But when I connect the battery to the wire, now you could notice different actions around the magnet. The magnet is repelled in this case, moving away from the battery. 
from the wire. Now when I change when I change the polarity on the wire, you, you will notice that the, the, the wire will tend to attract the, the magnet. So 